Okay, try outside single. So go outside single and then same thing. So he goes there, take that this leg over here. Yeah. Yeah, because he'll put it up. A lot of times he'll put it up, right? There it is. See how when a guy hits, kind of like tries to sweep single and then you square. So you'll go sweep and you'll have that leg up. He's going to take that and funk. Remember, if he holds on to your foot, like stand all the way up and then drive weight. All Try right. to drive weight over it. If he holds on to your ankle or your leg. So, yeah, he puts that leg up. So go ahead and go with it. Trent's going to keep your leg. So hit it, roll across, and Trent's going to keep your leg right here. So when he keeps your leg, try to stand up right away, Alex, and try to get weight on your leg. Stand all the way up. Good. And that way you can drive your knee over your foot so he doesn't grab it anymore. Yeah, there you go. Practice that, that finish because guys aren't just always going to let you go. They're going to try to hang on for a stalemate. So when he funks you, stand up, get weight on that leg he's controlling. There you go. A little sprawling, hips down. Good. One more. Good. Let's try picking a single leg up, up on your feet. And then I want you guys to funk the leg. So he picks it all the way up. So he's, he's got your legs, so you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna drop down. You can do it a couple ways. Yeah. You can post your, your right hand down to the mat and then just fall and then take that as a leg pass. Good, that's it. Or you could also take the other leg with a forward roll. Yeah. So this time he picks it up, just forward roll his right leg. Instead of that leg, go to the other leg. That's okay, you can make that one too. Just forward roll on his right leg. So he's got there, you're to the side of him. That's it. And then now, come on out. So you can slide between, yep, that's it. Just drop down and you're gonna fall. Yep, like that. And then just slide right in there. Go. In the middle? Yeah, with your right hand's gonna capture the leg between the legs. That's it. And then come on out. Good. Go ahead, just keep kind of variation with however you feel. Whatever feels good. Try to do them both, but just keep practicing them. Get used to rolling. Remember, you can go whenever you feel the time is right. Good. And you can also do it with your leg on the outside too, where you have your leg on the outside where it's, you don't let them pull it across. Yeah. Put it to the outside of his leg. 
even. Yeah, right there. Now go ahead. You see that light drop drop between? Oh, wait. that's fine. I would have went with my right hand, but that's okay. If you have to, you leg pass it, right? So that was good. You know how when you come out on that side, if you feel like he's coming up on top of you, just roll right back to your back. You know what I'm saying? Do that one again. Same thing, with the forward roll, and your leg's on the outside, right? And then you're here, and y yeah, so like you tried to get up to the other side, right? Yeah. Go ahead, roll the other way. No, no, roll the other way. Like you wanted to get up like this to get up, but now he's coming up on top of you, just roll back. No, 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 say he's coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's coming behind you. Exactly, and then you restart the funk. Very nice. Do you understand? Try it one more time. So start to come up towards your left, and if you feel like he's gonna beat you, then go ahead and just leg pass it the other way. So you're trying to get up, and then you go, oh, this is bad, and just roll back through, good. Especially if he keeps your legs and you just don't feel like you had a good enough, good enough positioning. Nice, very good, perfect. Let's get one more each. Perfect. Now let's switch it and go the other way. Let's attack the other leg. Or, and then we'll go that way. One more time, back the other way. Just drop the leg. Yeah, and then he's trying to make it through? Exactly, it's the same position, you see it? Yeah. So maybe you resist him by straightening your leg out instead of going with it on the back step, you're just gonna, he's gonna pull your leg and you're gonna straighten it. Okay. Go ahead. 
Boom. And then just come around that side. Exactly. Same thing. Always watching for the Peterson. So you don't, don't put your arm around. So there's the back step, right? But he tries to pull it around. He's pulling it around. So now Alex, yes. And now as he's trying to build up, see how he's building up? Exactly. Do you know where you, you, you see where you are, right? Yeah. It's the same position. It's just, he, maybe he got ahead of you. Double leg, single leg, high crotch. You're trying to resist it. And you're like, oh, I'll just hop around. Good. Again, try and try to get that hand on the butt. All right. Pulling up on the butt. So you're not leaving the hand on the far side. Well, yeah, that's okay. He rolls all the way over. How do I pose to keep balance? Just, just shift weight to your left knee and straighten out your right leg and point your toe up. There you go. Now, there it is. And then now pull up on the butt with your right hand. Good. That's it. Now let's show, let's say the guy ends up getting all the way to his base. And then we want to just show the Peterson uh, what, what, where you have to be careful if you stick your arm around the waist. You know what I mean? All right. So like show what might, what might happen. The funk roll man rolls. You either back step or forward step. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You end up here. Well, no, 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 no. Come on back up. And then now you're trying to cross face or whatever, but you put that hand in there and then he grabs your wrist and then he just funks or he just, uh, Peterson's nice. Okay. So you step off to the side again, Alex get to where you're going to cross face back step cross face. And then now he goes, mm -hmm. See, I'm telling you to make a mistake so that he can capitalize. That's why I was telling you guys, always make sure you're grabbing the butt. Don't leave your hand on the far side. I mean, if the guy's on his side... Uh, so I just leave my arm hanging and then cross it with the other hand? You know how, like, a lot of guys will end up doing that. They'll, they'll take, like, a spiral ride feel. You know what I mean? Yeah. okay. So, go. They'll, they'll make a mistake because when he funks and you end up here, he builds up to his knees... And then you'll put your hand like this, trying to sprawl, and then he just takes your wrist and takes you through. So we gotta make sure that we're showing people that they gotta be careful of that. If you are gonna play that way, you gotta be the crucifix master. You know, you gotta be great at the crucifix. Yeah. Which is also a, an answer to the problem. Nice. One of you know how to hit the crucifix. Takes you through, you back step. You make the mistake, but you grab his wrist and then take him over. Nice. Yeah. Try to grab his wrist or his shoulder. Nice. Either wrist, and then you can grip that shoulder. Yeah, and then you can even like hook that arm. You know what I mean? Kind of like a chick like a reverse chicken wing. Yeah. And then there you are. Sweet. Let's show it. Now it might be kind of tough, 
you know, you got that battle, I always say, between Crucifix and Peterson. But you're going to try to win that battle by where your weight is. So let's, uh, let's go to the position. So we hit, a, we hit a funk. We end up coming over to this side. Now, guy builds up to his base. We, we, we're sticking our hand there looking for wrist control, Alex, uh, with your right hand. There you go. And then what happens is Trent starts to think about Peterson. So if you were to put your right hip down, Alex, you're going to get taken. You know what I'm saying? He's going to take you. So we want to make sure that the second this happens, we're going to sprawl left hip down. And that way it's tough for him. And then elevate the leg like you have a Turk, right, which is breaking the guy's arm. And that makes him do that little forward roll and pop right over. And then you put him right to his back. And you can either have half Nelson, you can have shoulder, or you could have wrist, right? So it's kind of like you'll lose the wrist at some point, right? When you first start, you might have wrist. Re rewind the video a little bit. And you might have wrist at first, but then once you're taking him over, you capture the shoulder, he straightens, capture the shoulder and elbow deep. Nice. And then, and then we're having a good time right now. Cool. Trent's turn. It's also a good flexibility um, drill. <laughs> Going crucifix. Nice. See that hip down? Really hard to get Peterson when you're going going like that. Oof. It's pretty brutal on Trent. I don't think his flexibility is quite as good as it used to be when he was younger. <laughs> he's becoming an old man while he's in high school. Cool.